Yahweh, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salutes to you brothers out there teaching and pushing this word and truth and the sincerity and righteousness to the house of David. The 144,000 and one third women and children. You know, I just want to get into this quick lesson about um, balance, man. Having order, you know. Um, and I'm going to start off with, um, let me get Proverbs real quick. And one. This is Proverbs eleven and one. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is His delight. You know, so a false balance is abomination with the Lord. You know, you want to make sure you have it. You know, balance in everything you do, as far as your body, making sure you eating the right food. You know, if you flooding your body with bullshit, you know what I'm saying. You gotta be, you gotta be balancing that out. You know, if you eating all garbage and shit, you gotta be balancing out with fruits, vegetables. You know, keeping your body up. You know, you gotta have, you gotta have a balance. You know, with studying. You know, you can't just be over studying, or you know what I'm saying, or you can't just be going a, a, a long time without studying. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have balance. You gotta balance your family. You gotta balance your job. You know, all the things in your life, man. The Lord wants you to have balance. You know, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. You know, so you got to have balance in this thing, you know, and order. And let me get let me get that uh, first Corinthians real quick. Um, this is a uh, first Corinthians. 14 and 40 and it says let all things be done decently and in order you know so we got to be in order too man whatever everything we do we got to have order because the lord you know he deal with he deal with balance and he deal with order so in all things you got to handle it decently and in order you know as far as being out on the highways and byways you know brothers don't want to be slacking you want everything to be in order you know you know um because man, when we go out, you know, this ain't this ain't us, you know. This the lower house, and you want to keep everything in order, you know. You don't want to have nothing out of place, you know. You want to have everything together, and you want to, and, and that's just you know, with the daily this daily walk, everything be done decently in order, you know. You know, here in Babylon, it's a, everything's out of order and everything's out of balance, you know. It's a lot of unjust things going on. You know, that's why, you know, like the scriptures say, when the wicked in authority, uh, the people mourn. When the righteous in authority, you know, the people rejoice. That's why this place got to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, let, let me get that too real quick. Um, that's in Proverbs 11 and 1. Uh, I need the apocryphal. Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus. Eleven and seven. Ecclesiasticus eleven and seven. All right, Shalaki. Um, this is Ecclesiasticus eleven and seven. It says, "Blame not before thou hast examined the truth." Understand first, then rebuke. You know what I'm saying? So blame not, you know. You can't just, you know, um go off uh like for example, if if it's a brother going off and you got another brother and, and, and he take it to another brother, like, yeah, you know, well so and so, you know, he going off, he said this or he did that, you know, and just take that brother's side, you know. You gotta, you gotta understand the problem, cause it's two, it's two sides to every story, you know. So you gotta understand what's going on first, you know, cause the Lord, man, the Lord is 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 getting brothers, you know, and Lord willing, we part of that select, but the Lord is getting ready to make brothers to be rulers over the earth, man, to be governors of the earth. So you know, and we are gonna rule in righteousness. So you know, we gotta be in that spirit of 
of ruling and understanding what's going on. It's two sides to every story. Hearing this part and hearing this part, you know, not just taking off with somebody going off what one person say without hearing what the other brother got to say. I'm going to read it again. You know, you got to have balance. You know, got to have balance and order. Um, Sirach 11 and 7. It say, blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Understand first and then rebuke. So before any rebuke going on, understand the situation. You know? So, um, and with that, man, I'm going to jump back to Proverbs right quick. Balance and order, man. It's really important, man. You know? Um, this is, um, Proverbs 25 and 16. And it says, um, Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is su sufficient, sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomited. You know, so um, the scriptures are um, described like as honey. You know, and you know if you if, if you if you eat too much honey, man, you will throw it all up. You know, so you don't want to. You know, and that and that go back to like overstudying. You know what I'm saying? It's good to study and it's always good to be in the spirit. But, you know, sometimes, man, brothers just need to take a walk, man, or go see a movie and just chill, you know, and let the, let the scriptures marinate, you know, and meditate on the scriptures. You know, this is um, Proverbs 25 and 16. It said, has thou found honey? And that's the truth, man, that honey, these scriptures, this truth. And they say, eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomited. You know, so you know, you got to balance everything out, man. You don't want to overstudy, you know, and, you know, be overwise in this thing, man. You got to be simple, man, you know, and, and have everything balanced out. Have everything in order, you know. Don't overdo things, you know. Um, and with that, let me, I'm going to get uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 7 and 16. Seven and sixteen. This is um Ecclesiastes seven and sixteen. Be not righteous over much, neither make thou self over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? You know, so the scriptures say, man, don't be over righteous, man. You know? Why destroy thyself, you know? Why get all this knowledge, you know, and you know, and get up to the point where, you know, and you know, too much, too much over righteousness. You know, you start to get like a proud spirit on, you You know, being a know it all, you know, have it, trying to have everything figured out, you know, rushing and jumping over the milk to get to the meat, you know, not focusing on the meat and always on the, not focusing on the milk and always on the meat. You know, that's a cool thing too, but don't skip over the milk. Don't, don't skip over the simple scriptures. You know, you got to build yourself up in this thing. You know, so it's a Ecclesiastes 7 and 16. Be not over righteous, be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? You know, so this thing is about, you know, balance and order. You know, that's all I want to touch on real quick. You know, a false balance is abomination to the Lord. You know, have balance, have order and have patience. You know, if it's something you don't understand, just have patience with it. You know, and, and pray to the Lord, and Lord, and, and the Lord, He'll do things for you. You know, He'll He'll give you that understanding. You know, so hopefully this was edifying. You know, to the brothers, to the elect, or the brothers that just coming in. So, um, with that, I'm just gonna say shalom.